can you guess what is the power of being together working together why do we say unity is strength unity is power why so much of importance is given to team work a motivational and inspiring hindi poem from class 9 third language and class 6 cbsc sathi hath badana written by sahir ludhianvi speaks about the importance of team work this poem teaches the benefits of working together to get complete explanation of the poem watch the video till end so that you get complete information first let us see the ashay ashay means meaning ek dusre ke sath milkar rehne se mushkil kaam bhi aasan ho jata hai naye naye marg khulne lagte hain is kavita mein miljul kar rehne se prapt hone wale parinamon ke bare mein bataya gaya hai first we will see the hard words here see mushkil means difficult आसान मीन्स ईजी एंड नए नए मार्ग मीन्स न्यू वेज न्यू पाथ देन मिलजुल कर मीन्स टूगेदर परिणामों मीन्स आउटकम और रिजल्ट ओके सो सी एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस पोम स्पीक्स अबाउट टीम वर्क हियर इट सेज इफ वी आर यूनाइटेड वी कैन ईजिली ओवरकम चैलेंजेस दैट स्ट्राइक्स अवर वे वी कैन ईजिली सॉल्व डिफिकल्ट टास्क इफ वी हेल्प ईच अदर new opportunities comes in front of us okay so in this poem we will also see what we achieve if we are together yeah. but before proceeding to the poem let's have a look on the poet kavi parichay sahir ludhianvi ka asli naam abdul hati sahir hai unka janm 8 march 1921 mein ludhiana ke ek jagirdar gharane mein hua tha ve bahut bade kavi tatha geetkar the बम्बई में वे एक उर्दू पत्रिका के संपादक रहे उन्होंने कई फिल्मों के लिए गीत लिखे उनसठ वर्ष की आयु में 25 अक्टूबर 1980 को दिल का दौरा पड़ने से उनका देहांत हो गया 1964 और 1977 में उन्हें दो बार फिल्म फेयर सर्वश्रेष्ठ गीतकार पुरस्कार मिला था हियर ऑल्सो वी विल सी दी हार्ड वर्ड फर्स्ट सी जागीरदार मीन्स रॉयल जागीरदार घराने मीन्स रॉयल फैमिली गीतकार मीन्स सॉन्ग राइटर पत्रिका मीन्स मैगजीन संपादक मीन्स एडिटर ओके सो द रियल नेम ऑफ द पोएट इज अब्दुल हती साहिर वेन ही वॉज बॉर्न ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन एथ मार्च नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी वन इन अ रॉयल फैमिली ऑफ लुधियाना ही वॉज अ ग्रेट पोएट एंड सॉन्ग राइटर He was the editor of an Urdu magazine in Mumbai. He also wrote songs for many films. At the age of 59 on 25th October 1980 he died of heart attack. He received Best Film Fair Lyricist Award twice that is in the year 1964 and 1977. So this was about the poet. Now let's see the stanzas. It's a very short poem. We have only 3 stanzas here. So let's see the first stanza. Sathi hath badana, ek akela thak jayega, milkar boj uthana. Sathi hath badana. Ham mehnat walo ne jab bhi milkar kadam badaya, sagar ne rasta choda, barbat ne sees jhukaya. Pauladi hai sine apne, pauladi hai baahe. Ham chahe to chattano mein paida kar de rahe. Sathi hath badana. So here the hard words. See, mehnat wala means hard working people. akela means individual thak means tired boj means workload burden kadam means footstep sagar means sea parvat mountain sees means head pauladi means strong bahe arms chattan chattan means rock rahe means way that is path way rasta road okay and sathi what is sathi means it means partner the people who work together like colleagues friends anyone they could be as you can see in the picture they are helping each other so here the poet says an individual will be tired if he works alone but if there is a group the same work can be done with ease the pressure of work will not be on one person instead it will be divided among group and no one will feel stress he gives the examples of hard working people how they unite and achieve greater success 
if we want to achieve something big a team is required group of people is required see we have bridges over the sea we have underwater tunnel we have submarines so who has constructed it is it possible for one person to construct no absolutely not a group is required to construct it yes so in today's world man has progressed so much he has crossed oceans and seas he has power to fly with the help of technologies it would not be wrong to say man has dominated the world how it was possible for man to achieve this success it's because of working together sharing ideas and knowledge man has invented technologies and they have control over it man is not weak they have strong arms here i am not talking about physical strength i am talking about unity for example we have natural disaster sometimes like earthquake tsunami flood etc so in such situation what happens everything collapse so is it possible for one person to bring back everything to normal no not at all we all forget what we are to which religion we belong we just work for the sake of humanity whatever help we can do we do it right so this is just one example that i gave we have many examples like that to which we can relate so overall what the point is the point is that if we are united and work together whatever situation may come we can easily come out of that so this is the meaning of this stanza now let's see the next stanza मेहनत अपने लेख की रेखा मेहनत से क्या डरना कल गैरों की खातिर की आज अपनी खातिर करना अपना दुख भी एक है साथी अपना सुख भी एक अपनी मंजिल सच की मंजिल अपना रास्ता नेक साथी हाथ बढ़ाना एक से एक मिले तो कतरा बन जाता है दरिया एक से एक मिले तो जर्रा बन जाता है सहरा एक से एक मिले तो राई बन सकती है पर्वत एक से एक मिले तो इंसा बस में कर ले किस्मत साथी हाथ बढ़ाना सी हियर ऑल्सो वी विल सी दी हार्ड वर्क फर्स्ट मेहनत मीन्स हार्ड वर्क लेख की रेखा मीन्स अवर ओन वर्ड्स अवर ओन राइटिंग डरना मीन्स टू फ्राइटन गैरो मीन्स अनोन पीपल विथ होम वी हैव नो रिलेशन दुख मीन्स सैडनेस सुख मीन्स हैप्पीनेस मंजिल मंजिल मीन्स गोल गुरी गोल नेक मीन्स गुड प्योर अच्छा then katra means drop darya means sea zarra zarra it is an urdu word which means small in small quantity but here zarra is used to represent gajra gajra is flowers that women wear on their head okay sehra sehra means uh, flowers worn by grooms to hide their face you can see both the picture of sehra and gajra in the screen okay then rai rai means mustard seed mustard seed uh, parvat means mountain insa means human manushya bas means to control kismat means luck so these were the hard words in this stanza the poet talks about hard work we should not be afraid of working we should always be ready to work hard before independence we were working for britishers they ruled us who are they they are unknown people but we worked for them we didn't have any other option at that time we were forced to work for them and now we have to work for ourselves we have one goal that is destination of truth we have to walk on the path of truth and how is it possible when we are united see a drop of water has no use but when it is collected in large quantity it becomes sea and oceans it becomes strong so when we add gajra it becomes sehra see one string is gajra but when we collect many strings it becomes sehra if we have one mustard seed it doesn't count but when we have it in large quantity it can become a mountain actually these words like drops of water make sea many gajra strings makes sehra and mustard seed makes mountain these comparisons are made to give better understanding of unity if it is single it has less value but when it is combined it has greater value when people unite and work together they can change their luck they can change their future 
they they can have a better tomorrow so the poet is encouraging us to work together in order to achieve greater success okay i hope you understood the poem it has hardly three stanzas it is a motivational poem in the next video i will be uploading the notes of the poem so do subscribe like and share the video thank you